hey welcome back to another no code classification tutorial using k9 in the last video we have produced this particular accuracy statistics where we are able to predict and then create some accuracy statistics on top of that but we have no way to tell whether or not this particular model is performing good or whether or not this particular accuracy that we are saying is really good enough as we already know that the 0 0.37 347 the recall is not too good and so we have an intuition that this model is not too good. and so how do we really know the model is performing good or bad compared to the data that's contained within itself and that method my friends is called the train and test split and so we're going to try to do that visually using k9 and see whether or not our model is a sound model or not to be doing any further improvements on top of Hey problem solvers, my name is Kunal Naik. I am the founder of Data Science Masterminds. I am on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can quickly grow in your career. So do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I release an awesome smart trick like this one. Also, if you like my work, please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues. So that they can accelerate their journey. You can also contribute to my mission by hitting the super thanks button and helping me continue this journey so that others like you can learn and apply data science effectively to grow in their career. For this video I'm going to use the same data that is the marketing data and our goal is to predict whether our client will subscribe that is one or not subscribe to a term deposit and this is going to be some amount of marketing data and you can find this particular data set in UCI machine learning repository. I have already imported the data and I have created a chart and the chart looks like this where you have most of the people are going to be no's and very less of them you know maybe less five less than five percent of them are going to be uh, yeses and so there is an imbalance which we need to take care of that is why the recall is coming very low anyway so now I'm going to take this to here and as usual we're going to take in the data and first of all we're going to do a train test split so the train test split in KNM is known as partitioning and we're going to look for this one that is partitioning and we're going to get this one here now instead of directly just modeling on the data we're going to split it into 20 percent and 80 percent that's the split that we usually go with but you can change this number depending on your situation or it can even become a hyperparameter for you to tune anyway so we're going to feed this data into this partitioning here and we're going to do a 80 20 split and we're going to do a 80 20 percent split and 80 is going to be trained data and the rest is 20% is going to be the test data. So we're going to configure this and it says the relative 70% and I'm going to change this to 80%. And one more thing I want to do is going to say stratified sampling and I'm going to say subscribe binary. Now the reason we do stratified sampling is that to ensure that the 20% split and the 80% split has proportionality proportionally the same amount of yeses or else it may end up in such a situation where all of the yeses are there in the 80% and nothing is there in the test split and so we'll not be able to do likes for likes comparison and so having a stratified sampling is much more better than not having this particular strategy so we're going to do that and I'm going to say okay and we're going to execute now this particular node just produces a first partition which you can see the ids are just randomly distributed here and similarly a second partition which is going to be like this one right so if you see the second partition has 8169 rows and the first partition has roughly oh yeah 32672 right so this 326672 is the one that we're going to be using for train right so that's the first partition now now we're going to build the same classification model so we're going to take logistic regression here the learner and the predictor 
So we're going to build the model in one and we're going to make predictions on this one. And similarly, we're going to predict on the next set so that we can compare uh, the results and the accuracy and see if it's, it's matching up. So we're going to take this one here and first let's just configure the train part of it. So I'm going to put this data here and I'm going to let this be here. Similarly, we need to provide the data to this one also because we're going to predict on the same data. And this is going to be build model on the 80% 80% train data. And this is predict on 80% data. Okay. And so let's build the model first here now. So I'm going to say configure here. And this is all good. We're going to remove the ID column that's not required for this and say OK. And let's see if this executes. It has executed, uh, but it has not converged. So I'm just going to configure this again, go to the advanced, and maybe change this to 1000 and execute. Hopefully this converges. If it's a warning, it will still execute, but it might not have built the best model. So we just want it to converge and not throw any warnings as such. Okay, it's not converging. So we're going to configure again and increase the number to let's say 5000. Okay, and you're going to say execute. And it's going to show you how many iterations are getting done. So now that the training is done, we are going to take this particular model and give it to the predictor because we need to make the predictions on the train data. And we've already given in the same data to make the predictions. I'm going to right click and say execute and it will have predicted on this particular train data which is having the 32672 um, rows. Now we've got the predictions but we can calculate the metrics on top of it but it we'd rather make the predictions on the test and then we make the, the accuracy calculations on both of them so that we can compare it. So we took one partition, built the model and made a prediction. Now, the other one, I can simply copy and make another prediction. Now, this time, instead of building the model again, we're not going to do that, right? So instead of doing that, we're just going to just directly predict because the model is already built, right? So I'm going to say 20% data and that is on the test data, right? So this is going to be the test data and I'm going to say 20% test data here. And this is going to be the 80% train data. Now I'm going to take the second partition and I'm going to give it here. And I'm going to give the same model to this one, right? So we build a model on the 80% of the data and make predictions on the 80%. Then we again take the same model and then take the 20% of the data and make predictions on that. Now notice that this 20% data will have the actuals for us to compare. So it's as if this model has not seen this 20% data and it's trying to make a best guess and it should be good enough for us to test whether or not our model is really close enough with the terms of accuracy. So the way that we read it or we're going to interpret is that if it is 20 per, if the accuracies are both same similar then we know okay we are, we are moving in the right direction. If not then we'll have to take care of and try to align it to bring it uh, to the same accuracies and then push both of them forward together. Okay, so again, we're going to make the predictions here now and I'm going to say execute. So we will have the predictions now. So we have a train prediction, test predictions, and we're going to get a scorer so that we can do both of these accuracy checks. So I'm going to guess the scorer here. Now, this is going to be train performance. Okay, and I'm going to give this one here. And I'm going to say configure and it has picked up the right one. So I'm going to copy again, paste it. Take this one and we're going to go configure and say, okay. So this is going to be the test performance. And we're going to execute on this. Execute and open views. And we get this confusion matrix, but the better one is going to be not this one, but the accuracy statistics which is going to be like this one. 
So as you can see here, we got what we had seen in the last video, but slightly different because we are doing it on the 80% of the data. So that's one of it. And let's see if I can open the second one also together. So I'm going to say run it, execute, and we're going to open the confusion matrix here. So ideally, both of them should be visible at one shot. So as you can see, this is the train performance, this is the test performance, and we have opened both of them. And we typically compare the accuracies. The accuracies look good uh, since this is an imbalanced data set. So we'll have to look at what the F measures are. The F measures are comparable. They are the similar ones. We want to look at the F, the yes one. It's very low, so it's not a very good performing model. Recalls are also very low, which is again not a good sign, right? So in, in overall, this is not really a good model and uh, there should be something that we should be able to do to improve these metrics, right? Although the accuracy looks good, it's slightly overfitting because most of them are no's. And so if you just end up building a model with no's, you're just going to get mostly 90% uh, accuracy, right? So it's that's what is happening. It's overfitting the model and we're not getting good results. But the good news is that yes, they are the test and train scores are mimicking each other. And so now we need to do something that will improve the score, both the train and test together. And that my friends, the trick is going to be using SMART. So in another video, I'm going to do a SMART, a variation of the same thing and, and improve the score in a certain manner. So do watch out for that. So you now know how to take a data set, do a train test split, calculate the performance scores for train and test and then compare them. For now, thank you. If you like this video, guys, please hit the like button, super thanks button, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.